So the question is, should you build your buyers list before you start doing driving for dollars or will the, the buyers come to you once you get that first driving for dollars deal? Let me tell you this, it has cost my students tens of thousands of dollars by not listening to the advice of building your cash buyers list first. If you have heard someone say, do the deals, find the deals, then the buyers will appear. You will miss out on tens of thousands of dollars. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite ways to build a cash buyers list quickly so you can make as much as possible on every single one of your driving for dollars deals. This is your first time here welcome this channel is all about driving for dollars you guys can make an absolute fortune with your driving for dollars business uh, if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments but if you have not subscribed before make sure you do so and hit that bell notification to be reminded when I upload a video hey everyone my name is Zach Booth and you know driving for dollars completely changed my life it took me from a broke window cleaner to being able to make over a million dollars a year and even better than that have a YouTube channel and podcast and be able to help tons of people just like yourself become successful in this business it's allowed me to pay it forward and that's what I choose to do with my time as I said before if you do not build your buyers list for before you get your deals it can cost you tens of thousands of dollars I've seen it over and over and over I want to know from you guys in the comment section below so other people can see what are the biggest ranges you've gotten from your buyers? For example, one buyer might offer $100,000 on a deal and another buyer will offer $150,000. What are the biggest differences in the numbers from one buyer to the next? What are the biggest ranges you've had? One of the very first action steps when doing driving for dollars is building your buyers list. It's what I teach my students. It's what I'm sharing with you guys right now. I've had students that have decided to skip that step because they've heard someone else say, oh, if you find a good deal, the buyers will come. That might, might, might be true, but it might not be the best offer and if the margins are tight the numbers are tight you might not find a buyer I'm gonna give you an example of story I had a student out of Port St. Lucie Florida which is actually where my my mentor was is from as well uh, we'll just to protect the identity of the student we'll call him Steve so Steve skipped this step he found an oddball property it was a manufactured home on a piece of land the land was included but it was really hard to figure out what the house was worth plus it was a unique flip so it took a unique buyer right because it wasn't just a normal single family home so he put the property under contract and then called me in a panic Zach I have a deal but I don't have a buyer I don't know what to do I only have two weeks to find a buyer so we quickly scrambled we did our best to pull the best list we could and find a buyer he ran out of time on his inspection period and canceled his contract the day after he canceled his contract he had a buyer say hey I'll make you a full price offer which was a $30,000 profit deal but he had canceled the contract the end buyers went with someone new and he didn't end up making that $30,000 because he skipped the step of building a buyer's list. Long story short, you will have motivated buyers just like you have motivated sellers. You will have buyers that need to keep money working. They have investors that they're paying interest on and they need to put the money to work. They have employees, they have contractors, they have people that need work. They have, um, they have the need to move money for tax purposes, right? So you need to understand that building your buyer's list is so important. If you get nothing from this video, that tip alone will save you tens of thousands of dollars in your journey with driving for dollars. All right, one of the first ways is going to your REIA groups, R-E-I-A, it stands for Real Estate Investors Association Groups. So you can Google your city, Real Estate Investors Association, or R-E-I-A groups near me. You're gonna be able to find, find some near you. If you're out in rural America, you might have to drive an hour or two to find your find your RIA groups. They usually meet once to twice a month, sometimes more. You can go and network and build a relationship, right, with, with these different buyers. You can ask the person that runs and manages those, do you have a buyer's list? Do you have uh, proven uh, flippers and buy and hold investors that buy deals? Right, you can find your other wholesalers that way as well. So that's the first way you can find buyers. Next way is you can go to Facebook groups. This is one of the fastest ways to build a big list of buyers. So every Facebook group, um, you know, a lot of times your RIA groups, like I just talked about, they have a private Facebook group as well. But um, sometimes it's not even associated with a RIA group. It might be like Tampa Flippers or Tampa Deals or I don't even know, right? Your city will have different Facebook groups. So go into Facebook, search different groups. Once you find a group, request to be added and you can get added into those groups. Every Facebook group has a section or a little search bar and you could type in keywords and search for all posts 
that had those key terms in them. For example, deal, cash buyers, opportunity, wholesale. I would search those four terms, right, and see all the posts. And people are gonna post their wholesale deals and everyone below is gonna comment, I'm interested. Those are potential buyers. You're gonna have people that say, I'm building my cash buyers list. And you're gonna find all the people that commented below. It's gonna be much faster to search old posts and all the other things than just posting, I'm looking for cash buyers and waiting for five to six people to respond. It's not gonna be worth your hassle. Another way to find your hungriest cash buyers is at the county courthouse auction. So one of my, no, my very first wholesale deal, I found a buyer that paid $10,000 above what I was asking. There was not a single person interested whatsoever in the deal, right? Your, your most hungry buyers are gonna be at that auction. I don't want you to go to the auction to buy houses. I want you to go to the auction to find those buyers, right? A lot of those buyers have a ton of cash they're wanting to put to work. A lot of them have, um, you know, they're, they're planning to pay much more than they would probably be able to get if they were doing what you were doing or buying from a wholesaler. So what you can do is you can go to auction.com, type in your city, and a lot of times you can find uh, what day and what time and what county courthouse steps um, is the auction. Show up to the auction 10 minutes early and as people start to arrive, have a pen and paper, write down their name, email address, and phone number and explain, hey, I have off-market discounted deals. I email them out when I have them. You know, I'm wholesaling or whatever you're doing and, and build your buyers list that way. It's how I found my hungriest of cash buyers. The final way that I find uh, cash buyers, and this is the strategy that I used on the 40 day challenge. If you haven't watched that yet, I made $93,000 doing driving for dollars in only 40 days, starting with a thousand bucks. I built a cash buyers list of over 7,000 cash buyers this way. What I did is I went to all the other wholesalers and flippers that had a cash buyers list and I offered to trade. I didn't have any to trade myself, but I said, hey, would you like to grow your cash buyers list? They would say yes or no. If they said no, I'd say, okay, great. No worries, have a good day. I go to the next wholesaler, the next flipper. But I went to every surrounding area within a two hour drive and I said, do you wanna build your cash buyers list? Everyone that said yes, I said, great, how many do you have right now? They'd tell me the number and then I'd say, okay, great. I'll count you in at 2000. My goal is to double if not triple your buyers list. Uh, I'm looking to trade with a bunch of different people. Once I have a bunch of people committed, I'm gonna have everyone send me their cash buyers list. I'm gonna scrub it, get rid of duplicates and send it back to you, right? With many more cash buyers. I did that and I went from zero cash buyers to over 7,000 cash buyers for the 40 day challenge. It only took me a handful of hours, right? It's one of my favorite ways to build a very big list very fast. Um, it's what allowed me to move deals um, for the largest amounts of profits possible. You know, on the 40 day challenge, I did three deals. The first one was 10,000, the next one was 30,000, and the last deal was a giant $53,000 deal that wouldn't have been possible without that buyer's list. If you guys have found value here, if you want my assistance to help you build out your driving for dollar system and be able to find deeply discounted properties, I'd love to help you. So it's super simple, right? There's gonna be a link in the show notes book a call with us. We'll talk to you shortly about how it works, how you have full access to me, my cell phone, everything, right? So if you have any interest, you're curious about how the, the coaching works, jump on a call. There's no obligation. Uh, love to talk to you about it. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, the 40 day challenge, if you guys not watch that, uh, if you guys want to see, you know, what it looks like to do driving for dollars, what it looks like to make a massive amount of money in a short amount of time, what exactly it looks like and what you need to do and the kind of action steps you should be taking. I'm gonna leave a link somewhere here that you guys can catch the 40 day challenge, right? It's completely free. Hope you guys enjoyed that content. Um, it was not fun making, but it was really great content once it was all done. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for joining us and make sure you subscribe, leave us a like. We'll see you in the next one.